Hi guys, are you able to hear me? Everyone. Hi Sonam. Hi Basit. Hi so. Hi Shepal. Do you hear me? Hi sir. Yes, you are very audible. Yes. Sir. Yeah. Two minutes video. Mr. Dave John. Are you guys are able to see my screen? Attendees, are you able to hear me properly, everyone? Yes, loud and clear. Thank you. Namaskaram. Welcome back to Hip Talks. Today we are here at the Evolution of Accounting 2.0 conference, jointly conducted by Simandar Education and Becker. Once you become aware of the fact that you think you have an issue, then recognize the loss. If you're not in accounting, try to get it. Um, about efficiency. You know, 17 people getting together and trying to think about whatever we can say is it. So all of the problems in the world is about technology, not about science. Uh, we meet with the Accounting Evolution 3.0 and let me know how that benefited you. This conference has given them everything what they wanted actually. Technology has to create scale and has to create efficiency. Seeing the stripper's enthusiasm, I was even inspired. Put on a lighter note, make your thing sit there. After one month is over, send the invoice. <laughs> Specifically, Canadian investors who used to have corporations in Canada. What sort of experience you have for that opportunity? We can, we can modify and change what we need to cover. If you look at the, the hiring process, most of the companies that come. So let's get started, shall we? So pleasant afternoon to every participant and attendee here. My name is Basit and I'm a US Hi, CPA aspirant here. Uh, I'm a US CPA aspirant here and a member of the editorial team in the uh, Engagement Council. And I'll be playing your host today. So stay with me, guys, as I take you through the entire session. I promise you guys, you know, after this session, you'll be feeling inspired, full of ideas, and you'll be excited about the future. But before that, I want you guys you know, to make sure that you're participative and energetic throughout the whole session. So if you are on board with me, give me a yes on the chat box. Let me see, let me feel your energy. So give me a yes on the chat box. Use block letters so that I can feel the energy. Okay? Yes, I can see Bhavida. Come on, yes, I can feel the energy. Come on, guys. Don't embarrass me in front of the uh, panelists here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, all right, all right. Cool, cool. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. So now uh, we have our chief guest, uh, Mr. Devendra Bagri sir. Shripal sir is here, and the all uh, orientation team is here. But before all that, uh, as the host, I care about you guys, and I want you guys to feel welcome here. I want you guys to feel settled here. And for that, I invite the very talented a US CMA aspirant and the uh, member of the personality development cell here, Pavani. Pavani, please. Deliver the welcome note and uh, give us a brief introduction about the keynote speaker today. Over to you, Bhavani. Thank you, Basit. Firstly, can you all hear me? 
Yes, we can, Bhavani. Go ahead. Okay. Can Thank you, sir. Okay, good afternoon. On behalf of Simandar Education, it's absolutely my pleasure to welcome you all to the orientation session and the launch of Simandar Engagement Council. I would also like to welcome our esteemed guest, Mr. Devendra Bagre, Senior Vice President at a leading investment bank, who accepted our invitation gladly to join us today, despite his busy schedule. A warm welcome, sir. I joined Simandar a few months earlier, expecting an education, but I'm sure I will live with so much more. Every day you all will learn something new from your mentors and will be supported by an amazing group of my colleagues, uh, mentors, instructors. And whether it's your first resume writing, a uh, job interview or a professional presentation, there will be endless number of people willing to help you as many hours you need to help you overcome your hurdles. Now I conclude by giving you, offering you some simple advice here to make the best of your experience here at Simander. This is an amazing opportunity to learn and share your knowledge and skills. Let's nurture and evolve each other. Let's challenge ourselves daily and our peers on a daily basis. Make sure you observe everything and evolve, have fun. Don't forget to love 4 a.m. classes and witty quizzes. At least pretend you do. Thank you. Thank you, Basit. Over to you, Basit. Yeah, thank you so much, Pawani. That was beautifully done. We all do feel welcome here now. Now, okay, now moving on to the, one of the most anticipated part of today's session. It's time for our keynote speaker to bless the occasion with his presence and with his ideas. So, but before I invite him, I'll give a little piece of advice to all the viewers here. Take a pen. Take a piece of paper and be ready to jot down all the points here, guys, because these points are going to be very handy uh, in your future as you climb the corporate ladder. So be and be interactive, guys, whenever possible. So without any further ado, I welcome Devendra Bhagri sir to address the session and to inaugurate Alsimanda Engagement Council. Over to you, sir. Hey, thank you. Uh, thank you, Basit. Thank you, um, you know, Richa, for that uh, warm welcome. Because uh, we have Sripal here, who, who I have known for uh, for a long time now. Uh, I think so. You're all lucky to be, you know, associated with him. I think that's um, that. It already gives you a very good head start in terms of your career, right? And and we're all, uh, you know, part of the puzzle only. Uh, just adding to uh, to to what Sripal is really doing, uh, you know, for all of you. So so let me, you know, with that. With, with that sort of uh, you know background, Pavni, thank you very much for for that introduction as well. So I'll I'll probably get uh, get started, uh, you know, and and try to you know take the session forward. So what are we going to talk about today, right? Uh, it, it is about the cricket match yesterday and what happened to India's innings. I think that is what is the agenda for today. No, no, right? So we we've got to move on in life. It's not always about fun, right? We've got to take life a little bit more seriously. And um, and of course, uh, you know, uh, find find a way forward from from our standpoint. So, so let's kind of understand what it is corporate. You know, your corporate life thrills and spills, and and see what what goes on in in that little world, right? So, so if you kind of think and imagine, right? Uh, why are we all here, right? And and why are we all studying, right? We we're all here to sort of make a career, right? We want to we want to just uh, get to the get to a position where we can think yeah we've achieved. Uh, we want to get to a position where we think we can command. We want to get to a position where we think we have control. Where we want to get to a position where we think we have a lot of money to make. You know right. So lots of things that uh, you know run in your mind. So so there is an open goal and and there is something that you are running, marching and crazily chasing after right. But look uh, you know it is not. It's not about one of these, any of these, many of these, but it is about you yourself, right? Is in terms of what you make this out to be. I think that is what you will start to experience. It is not about what what experience will give you, but it is what you want to experience and what you start to experience. So let me start, um, you know, by saying a few little things, right? See, one is as you build build yourself up, right? One of the most important things for all of us to uh, to have is you know, not three or four titles in front of us, right? It is our ability to think and comprehend a situation. I think that is the most fundamental thing that will make you 
really successful. You may end up becoming a CPA. That's great. You will because you're with Samantha, so that will be very easy for you to uh, you know achieve that. That shouldn't be difficult. But I think what what takes you across the line is not just that. That's the starting point, isn't it? We all need to start somewhere, right? So you've made a start by enrolling for the course or enrolling for another course or or whatever, right? Whatever you want to do. But that's just a start. Now, when when you think about where you want to end up, right? Hopefully you've made the right start. So I think in this case, possibly all of you have made the right start. And now it's the step forward that will actually make you enjoy the thrills and spills of, of the corporate life. So if I if I take one step, you know, at a time, if you think about, okay, what's education giving me right now? It is giving me a lot of matter to think and ponder upon and actually start to implement that in our day-to-day -day life. That's all it does. It provides you a foundation, it provides you a base. After that, you've got to step on that and say, I'm going to launch from here, right? That is how it is going to work. So let's let's take a simple example, right? How many of you have studied the Pythagoras theorem? All of you, right? You remember it somewhere? Yes, we do. Some right angle, triangle, some angle, yes. some line, long, some line, short, something like that. Do you really care about it at this point? You don't, right? I mean, it's it's lost its purpose over over a period of time, isn't it? So now that is exactly the problem with education. When you were studying it, you were so passionate about it. Either you were passionate or you were, you know, the passionate the other way. When will this headache get over, right? One of the two ways, right? But you, you, you've all studied it, right? Now, it, when, when does that become useful? It only becomes useful when you actually start to apply it. It's not, if you scored 99 out of 100 in mathematics at that point of time, solving everything for Pythagoras theorem and trigonometry and everything, does it hold any value at this point of time? No, not at all. It may, I'm just saying in a different way, but I'm just saying, does it, does it really make a difference unless you apply it, right? So this is the first lesson we take away today is that as we study, we don't lose our ability to think, right? Passing an exam is not the most difficult thing, honestly. Right, I've done like three or four exams already, right? And I found it. I'm I'm a pretty average student, so I'm not I'm not one of you, right? Who's who's brilliant? So, so I'm just trying to say this that, you know, when you when you are when when you want to achieve something, you you don't think about okay, I have three degrees, four degrees, right? You would have to go in and create yourself a very good foundation. Now, as you think about, you know, that Pythagoras theorem. Uh, relatively useless at this point of time. I don't care whether the right, whichever line was longer, let it be. If it was opposite the right angle, that's okay. I didn't care much, right? Because I'm chasing different angles at this point of time in my life, right? So that's 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 what it is. So now, if you if you kind of think about it, what what did we do with that? We took that theorem, we studied it, we scored the marks on it. You know, it's like the goose, right? It gave the egg. It gave me the 99. It took me to, to my college and I started my journey. It didn't give me anything more than that. Now, you don't want to be like this as far as your corporate life is concerned. You know, you the most successful are not going to be the ones who have got four degrees. The most successful ones are going to be who learn from those degrees and apply it, actually. Those are the ones who will be successful. Like, uh, you know, let's, let's kind of think about, uh, you know, another example, right? We study so much about, uh, you, you know, say debits and credits and, uh, you know, accounting and, you know, which standard to apply, which standard not to apply. Now, given a real life situation, right, do we always stand and think about what the standard would be, right? Let's assume you're crossing, uh, you know, you, you, you're on your two-wheeler or you're on your four-wheeler, wherever, right? You're heading out on the street. Suddenly, you realize there's a massive construction project going on, right? How many of you ever you know, stopped and thought, hey, look, there's a project there, and I know this relates to you know, uh, the AC in accounting of construction contracts, and I think the borrowing costs must be capitalized here. Anybody did that before? Anybody did that before? No. You, yeah. Exactly, Dashmeet. Very, very good point, right? We never did that. Why not? Is it a bad thing to do? Right? No. Right? It's not a bad thing to do. 
and it's actually a good thing to do isn't it uh, similarly you haven't done with uh, you know your heights and distances in the trigonometry class right there is a pole there is a sun there's a shadow can you measure the height of the pole using the shadow you would have been like spare me please i don't care <laughs> as long as it's standing and doesn't fall on my head i'm okay <laughs> right so i just pray that the engineer was good that's all i need to know yeah <laughs> yes exactly dashmit yeah that's nice so that's a good point you make actually right we'll use that point that he says it keeps us engaged but the problem really is that that's not what keeps us engaged right you'll be kind of looking for something more entertaining when you're crossing that bridge to keep yourself engaged actually if something's falling down you'll pay attention to that you know if something's really nice around the side you'll you'll notice that if there's a friend passing by you'll probably wave but i don't think the last thing that will come to your mind is you know asc and accounting or taxation or construction contracts i don't think those things will ever come to your mind right so life is about yes it uh, bhavita that's a very good point right it gives us reasoning ability you've used a very very uh, strong term right and which is which is very nice and appropriate in this context you always need you know reasoning ability why is this like this what will apply in this scenario and what will what will you do in 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 this scenario right that's that's what it is you know uh, just yesterday uh, i i and very interesting uh, you know scenario came to my mind i was reading a news article and it says there's a ship stuck in the suez canal right you all read of that yeah and it you know one of the stats said it has got 706000 cubic feet of sand to take out right it said if you, if i want if you were to move that ship it requires 706000 cubic feet of sand to stand uh, to be taken out i mean now i'm wondering should i think like an accountant should i think like you know someone who's who's a mathematician what what should i think like what does that number mean to me i don't understand 706 uh, you know 1000 cubic feet so immediately my mind goes in one direction and says can i convert 706000 into kgs and see how many kgs would it take if it took so many kgs then if one truck is 9 metric ton then how many trucks they would need like this so what if we were in the business of supplying trucks and lifting material fantastic business proposition right we will always hope and pray that all the ships get stuck and we are in this business so you know you have to build like this from the news now you tell me how many of you went off and thought like that you just read it like oh my god what's going to happen ships are stuck and you know who cares yeah yeah you uh, yeah rishab that's good right you thought of losses to be made by the business because they just publicized 900 and uh, you know uh, 6000 9 billion somebody said 4 billion god alone knows it's just an estimate how much people would lose but who thought of making money out of it right that's 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 the way one you know ends up and needs to be sort of thinking now what happens in corporate life right let's kind of translate this a bit we've got some some momentum going in the conversation yeah you thought of buying oil contract sumit's really smart right he said okay let me shake the markets up a little bit by getting some dollars in right so he was he was like that yeah fantastic lata see these are kind of things and 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 so when petrol prices increase drastically what do you buy call options put options how do you account for call options did you go even further out out of that and said let me apply that and what will be the taxation impact which form should i be filling 1040 1120 no you didn't you, you thought like that no no right so we we we've got to be uh you know we we've got to be thinking uh, exactly no this is uh, on a serious note you know this is not a bad thinking process at all you know just try it for some time just try it for some time just trust me after that you'll, uh, you you will hate me for saying this right you'll say my mind's got completely corrupted you know i i i would think of such beautiful things and now you have forced me to think accounting standards right so so my dreams are about accounting standards so you you you've spoiled our mind so that's not what we need to do here right so we need to go back and actually start to think about what really will transform us now like i was saying right i got distracted by a lot of these comments which were lovely and i'm enjoying this so please keep this coming right it just helps build the conversation so now um you know and, and because i'm here to talk to you right it's not a ppt where you know okay let's do go to slide number 1 let's go to slide number 2 corporate lessons are not learnt out of ppts right corporate lessons need to be learned by speaking to you all so like okay let's kind of think about this right now let's turn this into corporate life w- what's really happening in the corporate life and let's talk about some serious scenarios right 
so what what may happen is you you join as a as a finance professional in the in the department right you join in as a finance professional you you're sort of working and and you start doing your bit maybe you know first month you're asked to produce an mis uh, you know you've come out with flying colors in your accounting uh, you know a far exam you've got 99 and then you realize that yeah i'm 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 going to be producing the best results for for my mis now you go in you start to produce uh, you know the mis and you actually do it and you have a pretty particular format and a pattern you continue to produce it suddenly what happens is uh, the cfo turns around and says you know can you give me a projection uh, you know if we were to uh, you know can you give me a projection of what we would do with our balance sheet what what do you think we can be doing you know that's when you will be caught up a bit and you will say you know what i, I don't know uh, whether i have cash on my balance sheet and is that sufficient i don't know if there is excessive liquidity that i have on my balance sheet that i can use what do i advise him on right our attention and i'm telling you this is part of how how a lot of people in the in the corporate world think is very mechanical right yeah there's a report to be produced there's a template there's a format i've learned that you know all the assets go on the right side and all the liabilities go on the left side start plugging them left right and center center is only the line right but start plugging them left right and center let's kind of keep putting the numbers and our our balance sheet is ready and how uh, and you prove yourself to be very clever but you know these are the moments and why i took that example is not not to say well i could have done it myself no but the example that i was drawing you to and uh, to do, drawing you towards is you know in the corporate life you'll get these one odd breaks right where somebody will come and stand up to you and they will ask you for something they will not do it every day right it's only like you, once in a year you'll get probably two opportunities like this and you've got to be ready with your thinking and say hey you know what i've thought about this well in advance and actually i can provide you a solution or maybe even before that you would have said i've seen continuously three months of you know excessive cash in my on my balance sheet what is that i'm supposed to do i keep reporting this i'm happy i'm doing my job everybody is happy that i'm doing an accurate job but are you making a difference right because you're not tuned to think like that you are not really making a difference for yourself right you are only tuned to be thinking about yeah have i applied the standard correctly have i done this correctly and are my numbers accurate have i done my variance analysis is it moving 20% i'll provide my variance analysis that's not how it really works right if you really want to be successful and if you want to turn this around is the the job starts now right the job starts now in terms of trying to say how do i start to pick up things and start applying them you know more and more carefully and apply them in different situations and think about it uh, you know from 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 that perspective you know that is that is one aspect now uh, let's talk about another aspect right the other aspect is your ability to articulate your points right it's not always about you know uh, if you if you heard pavni she gave a wonderful opening speech now she actually made a point very clear now when you think about your corporate life right it's not just about one aspect of yeah i know my standards i know i know the taxation rules in the back of my hand you ask me which page number i'll tell you doesn't work yeah if if at all you want to be uh, you you want to make a difference it's going to be in the communication and this is the part we see lots of lots of lots of people struggle right i mean basit was talking about some uh, you know about your per being a personality coach right basit don't you agree with me that how important it is if you can't get your point across it's it's of no use right i've seen many many rank holders come and actually not clear interviews right i've i've got that all india ninth rank from a ca exam sitting in, in front of us for an interview but could not simply articulate how do you deal with options and call options and put options right how could not explain but if you look at the marks yeah scored 84 in a in a chartered accountancy final exam or scored probably a 90 plus in a cpa exam yeah that makes life very difficult yeah basit you wanted to add something there no sir i totally agree communication is very important especially in this uh, era where you know the soft skills are as important as your degrees and certificates 
Yeah, absolutely. So this is a blend you have to start building today. And I guess your your um, council, right, that you, you all are heading towards will provide you that platform. And if not, please seek that platform. You know, you have Sripal, he's, he's a brilliant orator, right? You must have heard him in several forums and he's very convincing, right? When you talk to him, he's very convincing. So he's someone you can definitely learn from, right? He's, he's going to be part of this journey with, with all of you. I'm happy to participate with all of you, but you know, it is about standing there and delivering a fantastic speech, you know, delivering a fantastic piece of work that you've actually done and explained it. See, there's one simple way of explaining things is to say, you know, the balance sheet moved 20% and we made a profit of $2 million. And as a result of this, the company has made dramatic progress. Wow, that sounds so flat, right? Completely devoid of any energy, right? It sounds like, you know what, I rather not heard it. It feels like he's disappointed with his profits, right? With all the effort of his employee. Would you want a leader like that? You don't want a leader like that. You want a leader who will stand up and who will say, you know, a fantastic job done. My team has done incredibly well. You know, even though we made 2 million profits, there's a lot of blood and sweat that's actually gone in. What does the $2 million mean? The $2 million means we've entered new markets. The $2 million means we've got new clients. The $2 million means that we are on a path breaking mode. Our target was 1.8, you know? So you understand when you make something absolute versus you make something relative, it will make a huge amount of difference. And if you understand corporate life is all about relatives, it's less about the absolutes. I hope you're following the concept, right? How you can relate to things and bring out the story, right? If you say, yeah, my company is doing well. Yeah, against what? Right, against what? Against competition? Yeah? Or against what your mom thought that you will be performing? No, right? So mom always loved the child. Even a little bit performance, they'll say excellent performance, right? So it's not that, right? You've got different benchmarks. So the relativity will vary. Students, right? When you compare, you'll say, well, I scored 99. All you'll realize these days, everybody scores 100. The answer should be, why did you score one less? <laughs> Not, wow, you scored 99. So it is it is something like that. Yeah, more than, you know, Bhavita, as you make this point, right? It should be relatable. I think it is about conveying, you know, the message across. That is your point. Imagine sitting in an interview. It starts right there, right? You're talking about corporate life. How do you impress? You, you, you think, you know, when I'm sitting on an interview panel, Am I looking really at you as someone who will give me all the answers? I mean, I can probably bring up most difficult question. If you ask Sripal, he can bring up some really complex question. You, you, you go interview with, with you know, some partner in a big four firm, they can bring up so many complex questions. But are they there to get you? They can get you in two minutes. No, they are there to see how you present yourself. And that is the starting point. And most big companies realize that, that if you are very presentable, not in the physical form, that's okay. You dress what you do, uh, how you like and whatever, right? As long as you're professional, but it's on how you carry yourself in that conversation. Do you, do, yeah, charismatic, you know, just, just, just practice that so much, right? You all have it in you, right? Nobody's born dumb, right? It's, it's something inside that holds us back. How will I be perceived? Don't care. Just, you know, first thing you do is, Whenever you've got to make a point, first step is to write that down in simple bullets. Okay, today if the council is being set up, write down a few bullets. Why is the council being set up? What problem does it solve? Okay, this is one. What are the achievements that we want to get out of this forum? Explain that. Third, explain what good looks like, what success looks like. Try and explain that. If you just do these three things, any conversation you will get out very, very easily. Explaining to them why, explain to them what good looks like, explaining to, to them what the objectives are. If you try and explain it that way, you will actually move up pretty, pretty quickly, right? Because then you're, you know what this is doing? This is bringing clarity to, yeah, companies need problem solvers. And how can you solve problems? Clarity of thought brings, uh, you know, solutions to problem. Breaking down things into smaller chunks breaks down problems. You know, 
imagine you presented with a you know 14 inch pizza you know you'll say that sounds very tempting sir i haven't had lunch so that sounds like a good plan but how do you end up eating it it's a very simple example you know what you'll do you will cut it into slices and then you can't take the whole slice in you still have to bite so what is the outcome ultimately if the pizza has to be consumed though even though it's 14 inches only that inch can get into your mouth right so that's how the mind is the attention span you know as, uh, you know if you kind of think about some of the research and this is something you guys should pick up in the council is how do you attract readers to what you publish you know one of the key things is attention span right and i have to constantly revive your attention span see look i'm going to speak for maybe half an hour 20 minutes one hour whatever right i have to keep you all engaged isn't it i can't just come here and deliver oh you know these 18 years of corporate life has been amazing i have done so many achievements you should all be successful and you 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 know these typical speeches you will get a lot of these right but it's not that it's about telling you how telling you why telling you why not right that's how it is so if you are writing say at the end you know you guys may decide that you know we are going to publish a newsletter you know and the newsletter is about 3 pages who's going to read it right what is that you're going to do to make it attractive to read it is to catch the attention attention span of the reader and how much is the attention span of the reader that i will leave you to research i mean i'm told that the senior you go it reduces to about 18 seconds more than that the attention span is not there so how do you attract the executive to actually read it you know read your message in that short span right and that is the skill in corporate life when you're kind of standing and talking to assume you meet they, you've heard about elevator speeches all of you have heard about elevator conversations or uh, uh, many many of you must have heard it what does it what 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 principle is it following in the corporate world right it is following a principle of attention span so you have so you walk into a lift and you're working in a in a large company imagine you work for reliance right and you you're walking into the lift and imagine mukesh ambani walks into the same lift what is that you will be telling him you know other than hello right do you want to do you want to make an impression or not do you do you want to ask him how are you so what are the things you will say right will you ask him how's neeta ma'am doing maybe he's just had a big quarrel <laughs> he doesn't want to know that question <laughs> right so 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 what is that you will ask him that that you know catches his attentions and 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 tells him hey you know what actually basit asked me this question it's it's quite thought provoking you know those are those are kind of things you know so basit may say sir i'm sure you're you're not you're looking to buy your second ipl team you never know that may have rang a bell in his mind and say why can't i own two teams why am i owning only mumbai indians i want to own two teams that sounds like a good idea so i can have a hedge he may ask you why do you think so said if mumbai doesn't do well maybe another team can do well so you can you can you, you don't have to have all your eggs in one basket right if rohit sharma is demotivated one day in one team you can put him in another team right is just see it's a, it's a one minute conversation but imagine if you enter with him in the lift what would you say other than hello and putting your head down right isn't that the natural reaction your head will go down right that's not what we are right we we are quite clever we are quite intelligent we are well well groomed yeah it is yeah small talk is very underrated very well said prachesh yeah so so it is <laughs> okay what is, the presence of nine, mind is really important exactly that's a very nice uh, hirals put a very beautiful one right so it is uh, it is something like that some really good notes are coming in here yeah it's a, it's a lot of detail i can't read the whole thing but yeah see my attention span can't be much while i'm speaking so <laughs> give me some catchy phrases that i can pick up and actually tell you yeah so uh Yeah, see, that's a good one. Rishabh's given a uh, since oil prices are rising, your refinery in Jamnagar may not do well. Why don't you invest in some electric vehicles? Brilliant. That's a good one. So, electric vehicles के बारे में आप क्या सोच रहे हैं? That's it. That's enough. He may give you a response, or he may take you to his cabin and say, "Okay, sit down with me. What is your thoughts? Who knows? It makes that's that's the turning moment of your life." No, I just I just take this example only to say there are moments that come by, and how do you cash in on the moments? unless you practice from now you can't cash in on your moments uh, you know that may come by so that's the communication yeah you know sort of uh, bit that you come across the third thing that i would say a corporate um, corporate uh, you know world would expect of you is your ability to work and carry people along with you right 
you know, have the maturity and have the ability to convince people and to carry people along with you. Leadership is all about, you know, yeah, exactly, Sripal. Ability to work and carry people along with you. It doesn't start after you become a CEO. So uh, just think of this simple analogy, right? There is a fire, okay? There's a building that's completely on fire. Will you start digging the well at that point of time to find water? No, right? It's far too late. You don't dig the well when there is fire. You have to have the fire you know, extinguishers ready even before uh, you have to anticipate, isn't it? You have to anticipate. So that's exactly the analogy. So you have to build today. So this is your well that you're building with full of water and knowledge and everything. You start building today so that tomorrow in your corporate life, you can actually start to, to make that different. So your ability to work with different sets of people, you don't realize it is actually building you very nicely. See, in a room, in a session that you have, try to take the leadership. You know, there are four people. I mean, don't jump on each other and ask the other to shut up and then speak. No, that's not that's not the way, right? But try and see. Like if you organize, say, for example, a, a debate, right? Try and see if you can be the one, okay, I would like to start, right? I would like to give an opening comment. That Those are small little things that actually build courage in you. That tells you, you may fail. Don't be fear, afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to fail. It's absolutely fine. Somebody may laugh at you. That's okay. You are learning. That's more important. Ignore the noise. That's your leadership ability because don't ever think any CEO, though he's become a CEO. Do you think Mukesh Ambani doesn't get any 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 um, criticism? He does get a lot of criticism, right? Do you think a prime minister, he's a leader, he's running a country. Don't you think he gets criticism? He does, good or bad, right? Don't you think our leaders in the opposition don't get criticism? They may be good people. They do get criticism, right? But do they react to every criticism and say, though, you know, everybody else is, is really bad and, you know, we don't, we don't care about any of you? No, they carry people along. They'll say, thank you. They'll say, we appreciate the criticism. But this is our viewpoint. Okay, let me convince you. You know why this is your this is the viewpoint exactly dashmi you know but how do you become a leader to become humble you start both first to say that i will start to take more ownership of things you know i'll tell you simple small things right at home if there is a small event right or a lot of guests come in some of us what do we do we lock the room and we sit our parents will take care of it <laughs> it's not my business why is it not your business, right? Why don't you go and see if you can organize something? Now, do you think that you'll tell me, so how is that even related to corporate life? It's the habit, you're building habit, you know? And there's a famous saying, right? It says, old habits die hard. So make all the good hab habits really old by the time you enter the corporate world. Practice it so many times, they won't go away from you. They wouldn't go away from you. And that's exactly what we need to do. So your ability to carry people, explain to them and convince them, practice it. So you're going to have someone who's extremely irritated with you, but you've got to take them along. And of course, if they get personal and they cross the line, then you've got to give it back as well. So you have to learn that, you know, but as long as they are, you know, within the confines and they're, they're constructively criticizing, take the criticism along and explain to them, convince them. So I always look at it like this as a principle, right? When you're good, you can get better. Okay, but you have, if you have something that is a weakness in you, your first step is not to turn around and say, you know, I will convert my weakness into strength. That's less likely. That's not going to happen overnight. So the first step you take is to say, I will neutralize my weakness. That's your big lesson to corporate life, right? So that I'm not exposed on my weakness. If I turn around and say, I'm going to convert my, my real weakness into my biggest strength. That's not possible, you know, right? Your weakness is to write on the left hand. I can't write on the left hand. But honestly, tell me, I will convert this into my major strength. Will you shift your hand and start writing with the left hand? Not possible. You'll neutralize it. You will say, if, if there was an opportunity to do something with the left hand, I'm ready. At that moment, I can balance. I will not make it fall. That's it. So I have control the situation. Just use the analogy. Don't take it literally to say, I can at least control. You will become less one. So lovely. That was uh, Mayuri. Very nicely put. 
yeah, you become less vulnerable to your weakness. I'll, I'll, I will actually borrow that term, right? It beca you become so less vulnerable to, you know, or, or to your weakness. That is the idea of corporate life. Don't expose yourself to your weaknesses, neutralize them. Don't be a hero and say, uh, you know what, I'm just going to turn my weakness into strength. That's what I'm made of, you know? No, that's not possible. That's, that's being unrealistic. So the message I was trying to give is, you know, being realistic is very important, right? If there's something that you don't, we do this in our exams, don't we? We'll say, oh man, this section, you know, B is really tough in reg, right? I can't handle trusts and, you know, partnerships. They just drive me crazy. I don't even understand why they ever have this concept, right? I don't know whether they trust each other, what they do, God alone knows what, what happens there. But you then turn around and say, you know, this section, though, I'm leaving. That's it. Whatever happens, ina mina mina mo, I'll select one answer. God is with me. I will get the answer to that question, right? So that's what it is. But what you can best do is, you know, you can say, look, let me neutralize my weakness on that topic. Let me just sit down and just understand the fundamentals. I'm not going deep into this. That's it. I am not going deep into this. I'm just understanding the fundamental. What is a trust? Okay, this is what is a trust. What is the role of a trustee? This is what it is. So at what point do they get taxed? Is it when they inherit or is they is that when they acquire something? What, what is the point they get taxed at? So then you'll say, okay, this is the point of taxation. Enough, I'm not going further. So if question comes around this, I'm comfortable. If it doesn't and beyond this, I would say, God bless me. That's all. So that's, that's all it is, right? So sometimes you have to take those positions. So your ability to flex, right? Yeah. You know, your ability to flex is going to be very important and knowing what you can handle and not what you're going to handle is going to be very important. So what does that lead us to? Being very honest with yourself, right? You know, yeah, what if, uh, Ashna, when you say criticism is personal, give it back, please. Let them not cross the line, right? There's a line to everything. So so what, what I was trying to say is that you, you've got to make sure that you build to that strength, right? of making sure that you know exactly what you are and be honest with yourself. If you're not good at something, tell yourself. Don't run away from it. That is our biggest problem. You know, the most difficult chapters, what we try to do, we don't study it. We leave it to the last. We'll say, I, I don't understand anything. I mean, let me just leave this for now. Let me, don't push it aside. Just take it up. Take it up and say, let me start with the basics. Let me break it down. I don't understand how to do this translation adjustments and transaction adjustments and local currency, foreign currency. Too much headache right? Too much headache. Go to a practical example. What if I open a business in Japan? You know, and what if I sell there in INR? What's going to happen? I don't know. Think of some weird example like that. What if I set up an idli shop in, uh, in, uh, in, in Japan? What's going to happen? Right? At best, you'll say I'll go bankrupt. Then you say at least I'll learn the bankruptcy rules. Chapter 7 or chapter 11? I don't know which one. Right. So at least something you learn. So every scenario will teach you something or the other. But yeah, don't try to be perfect. Yeah. It's okay not to be perfect. Yeah. non vegedly in Japan. There you go, Prasad. See, he's already getting ideas. So so that's that's the way you've got to kind of start thinking about, you know, what you want to do. And see, this is what is the thrill and spill, right? Because somebody will come up to you and tell you do this and you will say, I can't. But, you know, you will manage it. You know what you will say? I know who can get it done. I'll work with this person who can get it done. What a beautiful answer than saying I can't get it done. Right? So you know your strength. You know how to work with people. You can ask for help. You'll say, you know what, I'll go to Basit. Basit does this really well. Basit, can you help me with this small piece? And Basit will say, yeah, I'll turn around. I'll help you. You've been such a nice man. You, you worked with, uh, with me all the time together. Benefits come in. And Basit will say, I'll help you with this piece. You help and you together deliver. That's not a problem at all, right? And and that's that's how you know it is, uh, you know it is it, it is like that. Yeah, exactly. So Keshav, it's a good example you have taken. Twenty twenty five seats in a in an Excel, right? So now, are you an Excel expert? No. You want to become an Excel expert? Yes. Is it your weakness at this point? Yes. So what do you do? You know, either find the expert or slowly start breaking down and see. Okay, can I take two sheets and try and merge them? Maybe that principle will apply across 25 or maybe it wouldn't. Let me try and do some YouTube videos. Let me try and do it. But I won't turn around and say, oh, I'm really bad at Excel. I don't know what to do. I'm in panic. No, that doesn't happen. Or you'll take a calculator and start adding each sheet and putting the numbers. You'll be there through the night trying to add those in your FP&A role, right? 
so so these are these are kind of things or maybe keshav you know what happens you actually find out that there's a lovely tool in the market you know and it can save us 20 hours in a month and possibly we don't have to you know invest more in anything else in in technology but if we get that tool we can actually improve so you actually take that proposal to your boss and say look you're not exposing your weakness but you bought out your strength and said you in your mind know it's a headache to consolidate these 25 sheets but you found a tool and you say you know this tool does the job really well so if you're willing to invest about uh, 2 lakhs on this one i think we will save and what are the benefits out of this you can say over the next two years we'll easily save 3 3 and a half lakhs it could be actually a scenario we'll make lesser errors you know the history of errors in these consolidations have been you know up to up to 200000 we've lost in these consolidations maybe this is what we can save but our ability to think these are exactly scenarios that will throw up isn't it keshav but what can you do how is your mind thinking what have i learned what have i seen it's are, are, is this there in any accounting standard keshav that you would have learned in your far or any of your accounting courses in terms of how to consolidate how to consolidate excel sheets never never right no standard will teach you but look you are faced up with a real corporate scenario how do you handle it it's really your confidence and say don't worry i'll manage this i'll bring an improvement in the process this time i'm going to do it this way but maybe next time i'll think of a better way convince people and say yes and next time go back with a solution and say we've improved this a little bit how happy will people be how yeah is displaying weakness a part of failure no it's not displaying weakness part of failure it, it's about you have not put enough effort to neutralize your weakness piyush that's how you got to look at it you have assumed your weakness is your weakness you have not worked on it every all of us have weakness you have weakness i have weaknesses i'm sure shripal has some weaknesses basit has some weaknesses we all have some weaknesses right but what did we do to neutralize them other than saying oh you know i'm going to change my new weakness into my biggest strength that's a good philosophical dialogue in a lot of books yes i mean i don't dispute it if you can do that you you're the best but you can't right you will have to admit that you have to neutralize you can't you can't do anything you can't do anything about it right only thing is neutralize it so you know you're in control of your weakness as someone beautifully said earlier that your weakness is not your vulnerability if i can recall correctly it was mayuri right that's what you said so it was it was brilliant actually uh and anger yeah whenever students don't see schedules posted in the group <laughs> yeah isn't it yeah okay fantastic mayuri i i remembered see not bad as i'm getting older my memory is improving so <laughs> it's not a bad thing see this is one part of the corporate life to be able to relate to people right it's it's very very important right so so this is again another quality that you know we all should think about in terms of you know is it's a big topic here writing about weakness and neutralizing weakness managing weakness because your life is all about managing your weaknesses your strength is your strength right i mean if you are such into you know uh, you, you know bat in a ranji trophy game he'll keep batting forever right he'll score he'll score 100 he'll score a double 100 a triple 100 that's his strength you know bring on anybody you want at best what the pace will be 140 kilometers yeah keep bowling man you you will get tired i won't get out <laughs> so so that's what it is but if you expose him and his weakness then you'll say okay it's swinging you know whatever whatever his weakness i don't know what his weakness is but but he never showed it in a way that was very visible right it's not that he didn't have weaknesses right people learned it exploited it he went back try to improve it try to change the way he worked remember one of the games in chennai i remember very clearly where he scored a 150 plus uh, odd score against uh, australia right so what he decide his his weakness was anyone bowling round the legs right yeah 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 that's correct correct that's absolutely right he actually went back practice 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 reduced it ultimately he would have got out to something like that but it was not on the first occasion he would have got out he would have scored some runs milked it out a bit and then he would have got out on it so so it's like that you know where you've made some some marginal improvements for yourself and those marginal improvements go a long way in your life because people start to perceive you very differently and you know all of you as you're entering your corporate life or have entered your corporate life or or you know 
Exactly. Yeah, he got stumped for the first time. I think I remember that again. Uh, you know, old age memories coming back. So, uh, uh, so I mean, it is it is things like that. Yeah. So some of you do, who don't follow cricket, so it's not a good example, right? So we will change it. We'll change it immediately. Don't worry. <laughs> so this was just one example, right? Of of many that we took today. But but think about it like this, right? It, it is something that we we've got to constantly you know work upon. So these are actually three or four aspects that I I I sort of brought out today. Last and final one that that I would I would tell you all is you know be a very good human being. I mean nothing can beat being a really good human being. Please be considerate of a few things. You know, good human being doesn't mean just being gentle in your talk and polished in your talk or fake in your talk. That's not being a good human being. You know, it is about respecting, uh, you know, others be other people's time. Right, get respected and and respect other people's time. Second. Be a very, very good listener. Fifty percent of your job is done when you're a very good listener, right? That's being a good human being because you're paying respect to someone who's actually saying something. You like it, you don't like it, your problem, right? But listen to it, understand what they're trying to say, try to get the essence. If you don't get, ask a question. Make sure you're fully clear in your mind. That's very important. Third, be a good human being by don't. Listen to understand and not to speak. Brilliantly said, Dashmeet. Oh, you guys are really amazing. Yeah, you you guys can write books. I'm telling you, it's fantastic, right? Third, that I would say is, it is about being. It is being about being humble about things and saying, oh, this is what I have achieved, and I don't know what others have achieved, but this is what I. No, no achievement is good enough, right? Every day you learn. I'm telling you, after so much experience in my corporate life. Somebody ends up teaching me something, and most of the time, it is someone who's junior to me, right? Who ends up teaching me something, but I'm really happy to listen to their ideas and say that's very well done. Good thinking, great thinking. I learned something from you today. Can you explain to me how you thought about this solution? You know, then they would sit down and explain, and we'll say, "Oh, that was great." I mean, I'll tell you, Shripal and I speak sometimes, and just out of speaking, some ideas come out, right? Okay, let's do this or Shripal will say, maybe I. It's good, you know. What what we do is we respect each other, and we say, you know what, I respect Shripal a lot because of how he thinks, right? He thinks for his students a lot. That's a learning I take away. I'm sure he learned something from me. I hope something at least. But but yeah, uh, it is uh, you know it is something that I I learn from him in terms of the amount of interest he takes in his in his students, right? He's very passionate when he comes out, and I'm like, I need to build this kind of passion for people, right? Is is something. Fantastic to take away because passion will create drive, and when you have the drive, you will deliver. There's no question of failure then. Even if the failure comes, it's temporary, right? So that's very very important. And fourth, like I said, please always be engaged. Don't disengage yourself with topics, right? Keep your mind alert. Even if it's a Suez Canal, you know something going wrong, think about what you can do, and right? most importantly, read it. Don't ignore it and process your mind. So it's about being having that attention span to a lot of things, right? You know, don't get emotionally carried away, but try and be objective and say, okay, what does this mean? What does this mean for my business? At least take two minutes to think about from your perspective what is that I can apply. That's very very important. Please do that. Please do that. It is something that will teach you a, a lot. Yeah, that that will help you help you a lot. And then. Last and and the foremost, always have a smile, and don't be stressed, right? Just be like Basit, who's been on this call. You know, en encouraging, right? Always wear a smile, and don't let that go away because that's your biggest loss. Moment you've lost that that you know smile on your face, you've lost the shine in everything that you do. Be happy. It's okay. Nothing in this world can. Can make you unhappy, right? I mean, there will be personal losses. There will be things you'll be disappointed. But disappointment doesn't mean unhappiness, right? Recover, come out of it. You're all mature, right? And then stand up, and 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 then say, yeah, I'm I'm on my own. I know how to think. And how does the strength develop for you? These strengths only develop because you have objectively started to look at things. You are breaking down things into smaller parts. You say, I know where the worry is. Okay, smile at the worry and say, okay, you're here. I know how to tackle you. Let me tackle you. Smile at the worry, and then you you kind of 
move on to your next step, right? Worry is not permanent. It is temporary, but you can make that permanent for yourself by being extremely disappointed and just keep thinking over and over and over again about it, right? If you failed an exam, it's okay, go back, give it again. What's the big deal? What, what do you have to do? Read again, right? Not, not a problem at all, right? So go back, read it, analyze where you went wrong, do it next time, you'll clear. Didn't clear again, go write it again. Don't lose hope, don't lose heart. Somewhere you will make it happen. But if fundamentally you think something is not right, analyze and say, maybe this is not right. Let me start medical. Forget CPA. Let me enroll as a doctor. That's fine. People have had these extreme stories, right? You may be one of them. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, so need to stop overthinking. Exactly, Dashmeet. Totally true. Don't, don't, don't just put your mind. And overthinking only comes because when you don't think correct. You, you, you go into scenarios which are not necessary. Just break down the problem and you will have solutions for yourself. And that's what corporates expect you to do, right? If a CFO comes in front of you and sits down, you can't just sit like this in a daze and say, I'm thinking, sir. No, you've got to say, okay, sir, explain to me your problem statement. Tell me, when do you want the solution by? Tell me, how do you like the solution to be? I have some ideas, but I would like to hear how you would expect that to be. Tell me uh, if there's any help I can get on this, sir. Put these points across. They will think of you as, oh my God, the problem is so big. He's already broken it or she's already broken it down into small, small parts. Already you made the CFO feel very confident that you're able to handle the problem. The problem may be catastrophic, but you've broken it down so nicely. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That's awesome. So, so I'll probably take a pause here and see, uh, you know, Sripal, if you wanted to add something, I know. I've, I've spoken a lot. I don't know if it made sense, but but I'm, I'm sure a lot of it would have resonated with you because we try to make it very simple for you, right? I didn't use any corporate jargons. I didn't bring in anything that was very complex in the corporate life, titles, this, that, nothing. It's all about how we carry ourselves. That's it. The message is the better you carry yourself, the more successful you will be. Simple as that. That's the moral of the story, right? So we'll end on this note. Hand over to Sripal and see what he has to say. And any of you, if you have a comment or two, please unmute your mic, say anything. If you didn't like something, you have a tomato or an egg, throw it here, no problem, I'll receive it. That'll be good evening dinner, right? That's how I see it. So, so that's that should not be a problem, right? Okay, perfect. If it's relatable, that's really good. So over to you, Sripal, and I'll stop now. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Deep, sir. I think this was one of the fantastic session as always. Uh, I've seen you talking at the conference on that day itself, we both met and the relationship keeps going. Uh, and guys, let me tell you, he's one of my mentors. And whenever I'm upset, whenever I'm down in my life, I think this is the person whom I call and 20 times he'll not pick up the call. 21st time, he will definitely pick up the call. Uh, 35 times I'll message him, 36th time he will tell Sripal my SEC meeting is done. Uh, so I'm done with my work. Now we can talk. So night 11 o'clock to one o'clock. That was the time I remember. And uh, whenever we talk, it keeps going uh, on and on. So that's how it is. Uh, whenever I talk to him, it, I never feel like uh, keeping down the phone. Right? So that's how Dave's knowledge is. I mean, he's fantastic the way he tries to relate and amazing because he's, he himself is triple qualified, not because of his qualification, but the way he's so humble. Right? It doesn't look like he's leader of one of the uh, influential investment bank. It doesn't look like that. And that's how I think that's the biggest takeaway. When you see the leader, you learn by seeing them only. Without even talking, you can learn from them. And that's what I have learned from Dave sir. He's very polite, very gentle when he talks. And my wife is the biggest fan of him. So I don't want Dave to talk much to her. <laughs> So she likes Dave a lot. <laughs> Honest confession, <laughs> Dave, sir. But uh, he's amazing. And I know why female crowd keeps following Dave in whether it be a conference or whether it be a webinar or whether it be anywhere. His smile is really the one which attracts everyone. Thank you so much, Dave. Uh, it was an amazing session. Over to you, Basin. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, Dave, sir. Thank you so much, Ripal, sir. That was very insightful and very inspiring as well. I am sure we all feel inspired. I have uh, noted down literally a one and a half pages of important points that I wish to keep it close to my heart. And I hope you have done the same. So thank you so much, sir. Now uh, it's time to move on. Now uh, 
like we have discussed already sec uh, simandar engagement council we have planned a lot of stuff for all the students here and we uh, plan to you know not just it's not just about the certificates it's about the professional grooming and being industry ready when you are done with the certificates and that is exactly what we at sec plan to do and uh, our motto is create your destiny as you all are already aware so but to tell more about sec and to give you more of an idea about the simanter atmosphere and environment and what to expect we can uh, move on to the orientation presentation now we have a very enthusiastic team for that we have our own sripal sir here we have uh, sonam and anuhya and adarshita to uh, take us through the presentation the orientation presentation so over to you guys yeah. uh, is bobby there in today's meeting i guess she is not there or she didn't join today i guess okay i think that's what bobby is one example <laughs> yeah yes guys so i am sharing the ssc presentation today so it's not securities exchange commission this sir it is <laughs> simander engagement council i know <laughs> you might be like are here also i'm back to scc work so <laughs> that's what i can say so what is the mission and uh, that is uh, what are we trying to do it in this particular thing uh, is what i'll be talking more right and just before what is the purpose of the orientation because we have a lot of new folks who have joined in simander education to provide them what simander education does and how can we help to our community and that's where we have joined in and all the students and they form the committees and all to help you with lot of these things because everyone were very curious that what scc does uh, so there are a lot of cells behind that right lot of the committees behind that that next 3 months will be really exciting and we'll share with you that just before that simander education uh, so uh, i am punam have founded that in 2016 right we are the official partners of becker professional education just to talk about becker it's the subsidiary of adultum global which is 4 and 1/2 billion dollar company in us so we are their partners so we follow only the becker materials for cpa and cma and follows wiley for cia and fast forward academy for ea and we are also partnered with bdo rice and bdo india for diploma ifrs courses right so that's where we provide all our courses at samandar education and these are our knowledge partners becker bdo i know that it's not easy to tie up with a big five so we are tied up so bdo is our knowledge partners so when you see the ifrs course of samandar education you will see bdo partners talking about that uh, various standards which are there of ifrs which is complex ifrs 15 16 17 which is revenue leases and insurance insurance is about to come so aicpa we are the official uh, channel partner of aicpa where we sell our courses like data analytics blockchain so future of finance is completely the courses which we are doing we haven't advertised a lot it has been a lot of cpa staff at simander and uh, uh, half of that of cma but we haven't actually ventured into the future of finance courses which we will be doing it very soon and then we have enroll agent which is us tax course so that's what it is our vision as you know uh, it is not just in writing it is an application that's what dev says it's just not theory it is to apply that vision right application is to upskill the professionals to help them design an attitude of continuous learning that's what we believed in we have been sticking to that and i'm so happy that we have been doing consistently on that particular basis uh, through our placements through our corporate leaders through our mentors through our students and our core values the first core value i feel that is passion Uh, so i think passion is something which is really important to excel in anything right and that's where that is our first value which is coming up and the passion is something which which drives me so whenever it's night 2 o'clock morning 1 o'clock right and again at uh, evening time or morning time it's been always with the students uh, answering their queries whether be their small small issues i think that's what the passion i carry and the entire simander education team carries and that's what we believe in prince is our Uh, mnemonic right what we see in becker so our mnemonic of simander is prince p stands for passion r stands for responsibility i for integrity and for nurturing right c for consistency and energy so that is what we believe in and that's what we are practicing in and our one more uh, vision over that and lot of them ask me shripal why do you train for foreign education why haven't you ventured into chartered accountancy of india or indian education for me 
uh, i have always believed in that that any education which can yield a job or which can make you uh, capable uh, to stand on your own foot that is the education we look for and that's where i see that our major vision is to provide all the uh, i mean aspirants with jobs so that they have their opportunities and all and i see uh, india as a country to develop with lot of the job opportunities and that's where with uh, with the relationship of us and china are not going well and we see that lot of the us companies coming to india and we see lot of job opportunities already which are coming up and to be honest guys we have placed each and every one who have a pass from simander education and i'm so happy that people who are pursuing also we have placed them i think bobby is one of the example she works with the dev dev team so i think other than that we have been uh, that's what our vision is and we want to do it consistently even though people have enrolled with us we want to place them we want to see them getting those jobs whether be indian education or foreign education jab tak india mein job hai tab tak sab kuch theek hai that's what we believe in and that's what is our higher vision to continue with simander education and these are our leadership <clears throat> so it's kapil jain who's my elder brother who runs simander education and then uh, shripal so i am the face normally people relate uh, simander to me only but they don't know who are the minds behind that so we have shruti who's there we have poonam who's herself my wife and i mean she herself is a chartered accountant also and then in the faculties we have shripal suraj sudha amit surinder karan and the list keeps going they are all triple qualified faculties or all uh, some of them are from iims also karan i think the cma crowd relates a lot with karan because he's he has been teaching the technology chapter this time he has not been there because he left for london i think we'll be seeing soon uh, back to action i think in the month of june or july student support team i have sonam here who's sitting so apart from sonam we have chanchal kaivalya anuya bhargavi akansha abhishek lavanya radha that's our evaluation team our process team our student request team our counselors and all and that's about our digital marketing team what are our tie ups i think this is one of the most important area for students to see that what is ripal jain what is simander special which makes them different from other uh, institutes or anything because a lot of them ask me what is different from simander from any other institute i think the biggest factor i have been whenever i started i mean i think 2016 i started off and i straight away went to virtuza and gave the session on cp and cma my entire objective was to create awareness in the corporates about this courses most of the companies were not aware that cpas are there first of all and that's what was the vision when i started simander and i have been really happy that we have tied up with virtuza we are tied up with investco and tied up with elenco ey we are a exclusive training partner in ernst and young i mean it's really difficult to become an exclusive training partner in big four i'm so happy that we are one of the exclusive training partners so there's no other training partners at ey our uh, deloitte uh, bdo as i said you not only for ifrs we are tied up with them for uscpa american insurance group aig i know that not the please don't relate to that fraud <laughs> so this is a complete new aig which is there i mean i know that a lot of them might relate to that insurance uh, case which have happened with lehman brothers uh, and then we have infosys which we tied up recently uh, i think i was able to convince infosys uh, cfo the leadership team about the courses of cpa and cma and so happy that now they are also being hiring they are sponsoring for cpn cma with them is their mba initer global icner ampers synchrony so these are our corporate types and there are a lot more which i couldn't fit in here but i think the list keeps going and i'm really happy that these are some of the companies which we are working with and uh, not just with the hrs but all the leaders i know that uh, the reliance cfo also came up last time and uh, we were talking about that uh, that how good we were and i am so happy that whatever we are today with a community of almost 2000 plus students comprising of cpa cma ea cia and it is all because of the leaders i give back entirely to the companies who have been supporting me who have been always just give them a call and they say and whenever i call these leaders and i tell them that sir these are the students who are looking for job and they just tell me hey shripal just send the resumes and we would like to tell uh we'd like to tell ki okay uh let's see that how it goes and all and you just send the resumes and all but now after i talk to all these corporate leaders and all and that's where i came into conclude that these are some of the skill sets which we are looking for and i'm glad that dev is also forming part now of this that what are they looking for when they are hiring for these students right and that's where after our research we came to know that there were a lot of the skill sets which were required and this committee which is of simander engagement council will focus on all those skill set 
yes one skill is convincing which i'm very good at which what dev have said apart from the convincing and negotiation skills i think the most important skill what i feel is the attitude and the communication skills which is a must uh, in all the companies now and that's where the agenda and all will focus more on and now i'll give it back to basit and sonam i guess who will take it here and talk about the various things what we are doing at simander and whenever a new student enrolls what are the to dos and don'ts which he needs to do it thank you so much basit for giving an opportunity thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much for that now uh, moving on uh, sonam over to you good evening everyone this is sonam from simander education so thank you basit thank you so for giving me this uh, opportunity to speak about simander and tripal so i'll be sharing my screen so it is like uh, it is very less for me to complete about like to talk about tripal sir in just a single screen so tripal sir is a founder of simander education he is a qualified ca us cpa and a guest faculty at iims too so mr jain has worked in the education industry for quite a some time now and he is a part of content and editorial team for us cma for backup professional education he has also been awarded as best educational award by the government of telangana he conducts various corporate sessions on finance fintech with organizations like ernst and young reliance geo amazon emphasis aig vachesa investco microsoft and many more from time to time so going ahead i'll talk about like simander what we does here in simander and what we offers so simander education learning portal is where you will find solutions to all your prob uh, problems so basically here when a student enrolls what we do so here we have a we have launched a new help desk system wherein if a student has any query related to any links any schedules anything relatable to the studies they can just raise a ticket at the help desk where we have make it available at simanda portal they can just raise a ticket and we are there to help them out the next minute we have like here in simanda education we offer live lectures which will be like uh, we will be conducting on weekends mostly so that many of you the working professionals and all can attend apart from that we also give recorded sessions so that any of the students who have missed it can go through that and make a notes of it in case like if you have any queries and all post listening to the recordings too there are different study groups what we have created on telegram wherein the instructors as well as there are different alumni who will be there you can put your queries and it will be answered by them so from time to time we had been doing the webinars where our uh, instructors will plan exam strategy and uh, study plan for the students and the professionals we have been doing evaluation webinars for the students so that they will understand what are the steps to be taken from time to time moving to the next one what we offer here we are providing online education job placement assistance evaluation support and also suppose when a student comes up to us like cpa and cma these are the professional courses which which requires a lot of investment but uh, we also give you support by providing loan assistance wherein there are like uh, emi options available where a student who is really wanting to do do the course and not financially strong will get uh, can avail this and go for our emi option moving to the next one what all courses we offer we offer us cpa which is like us certified public accountant certified management accountant international financial reporting standards which are ifrs diploma and certification we offer certain certified public uh, certified internal auditor cia course and enrolled agent too any questions no oh, i think you can keep moving so much okay so moving to the next question like uh, moving to the next slide cpa so cpa is certified public accountant which is the top accounting credentials in us governed by aicpa american institute of certified public accountant 
So after completion of CPA, a US CPA should also hold a license, which is issued by one of the state boards in USA. That give you authority to practice as a US CPA. So moving to the exam section, what kind of exam it is and all. So CPA has a pattern of multiple choice questions along with task-based simulations. And um, there are four papers into this financial accounting, uh, financial accounting and reporting, auditing, regulations, business environment and concepts. So moving to the business environment and concepts, it has essay questions into this paper. So what are the steps to be taken in CPA? What will be the first step? Should I go for a coaching first or should I start my academic evaluation or how should I go? How should I apply for the examination? This will be the questions. What will be running around a student's mind? So there is a proper process flow which need to be followed when it comes to CPA. So first is like uh, for CPA, you need to know whether a candidate is eligible or not. So for, for US CPA, you need to have certain credit points like 120 credits are required to sit for the examination and 150 is required for the licensing part. So there is a complete evaluation dedicated team in Simandur who will take a look at your mark sheets, the education credentials you hold and let you know whether you have enough credits or not. In case if a student is not having enough credits, then we will also suggest you certain bridge programs which will help you to uh, bridge those credits and make you eligible for US CPA. So this will be the first very, very important point for an individual to know whether he is eligible or not. So once you are eligible, you can start your preparation and simultaneously you can work on your evaluation. So coming to the evaluation part, so what will be there in that? Like it's a process wherein you will have to get certain documents which are termed as transcripts over here. Create your application, send your documents to USA and get your report. So Simandar Education will help you stepwise. We will be giving you end-to-end -end description, end-to-end -end support, what documents are required, how, how do you create the account, you, which state you will be eligible through. The state board uh, selection is even suggested by Simandar Education. And once you get the evaluation report, it will be again reviewed if everything is good to proceed ahead or not. And yes, after that, we will also counsel you if you are ready to give the examination, which exam to apply, how many exams you can apply, either one, two, or three. All these steps, we will be helping you out. Post you apply for the examination, you will receive NTS. NTS is notice to schedule, which is nothing but hall ticket for the papers you apply. Once you receive hall ticket, that is NTS for the applied papers, you will have to go to the Prometric Center and schedule the examination. So here I have set the CPA process in quite a simple way, but there will be a lot of steps required in this. And Simandar Education has a dedicated evaluation team which will be helping you out end to end from each and every step will be guided to you. Any queries still now in CPA or any evaluation? No, Sonam, please don't take evaluation queries else the session will go for next to three hours. <laughs> okay, sir, I'm so sorry. Just so I'll proceed. Okay. Yeah, sure. So I'll proceed to the next course, which is CMA, Certified Management Accountant, which is the highest level of certification in management accounting, which is awarded by Institute of Management Accountants, which is IMA USA. So this course is globally recognized, advanced level credential, uh, credential for accountants. This is for someone who want to get into more of management accounting and finance. So it's a, like, uh, it is a course, which if you want to do something in a short span of time, you want to become an expert in management accounting and finance, then the, here you go. So it has just two examinations. CMA part one and part two. And the pattern of the examination will be multiple choice questions and essay sections. The duration of the exams will be four hours. Here I go. The part one of the examination consists of six parts. As you see, the financial planning, performance and control, external financial reporting decision, planning, budgeting, forecasting, performance management, cost management, internal control, technology and analytics. I'll go with the part two. 
Part two is financial statement analysis, corporate finance, decision analysis, risk management, investment decision, professional ethics. How do you go about CMA? What is the process? What is the flow? So step one is you should become a member of IMA. And how do you do that? Again, for CMA, we have a team who will be helping you out. How do you apply for a membership? Then how do you apply for an entrance examination? How do you apply for the examination? So now post you complete your professional, both the examinations of CME part one and part two, you will have to apply for a certification within seven years of time meeting. You should be at least a graduate having two years of continuous work experience into our relevant stream. And we will also tell you, tell you the process of applying it. So uh, there are many initiatives initiatives actually taken by Simandar Education here. I'll go with a few examples. So the one what we are like introducing today is Simandar's Engagement Council, which is totally an initiative taken by Simandar, Simandar students. Kiki Fin Group is a placement group wherein all the students, like it is not like once you pass the course, what you have enrolled with us. It is while you are being a student with Simandar and still you are pursuing, we will be there to help you out. Capital market group to keep you updated, posted with the, uh, with the current uh, market and the knowledge. Study groups for CPA and CMA, as we discussed, we have a study groups for FAR, all the, uh, FAR, all the individual subjects, I would say, with the respective faculties, mentors, and other alumni also who will help you out, the new joinees, and whenever a question comes up. And also, yes, the 4M, 4M West Club was uh, has given us a wonderful results. So I believe Basit uh, was a winner for that. And we also had an initiative with Coffee with Leaders, which was by um, Richa, which was won by Richa. So over to you, Basit. Uh, thank you so much, Sonam. Thank you so much. You have explained it very well. Now let's move on to the sixth part. And for the that I invite Adarshida, who is the member of the personality development cell here. So over to you, Adarshida. Thank you so much, Pase. Thank you so much, Sonam. So hello, everyone. Uh, this is Adarshita. I am a member of SEC Council. And within a few minutes, you will be listening to me about our Samander's new initiative, Samander uh, Engagement Council, SEC. So let me take you to the very beginning and tell you how it came into existence. As you all heard Sonam, so Simander is providing so much to their student for successful completion of the CPA and uh, to get placements. Then the then a question arises like uh, for our for my financial professional professionals like me and you that what else is needed for a financial professional to have other than a degree or a job? What other skills are needed? So to address that question. Respected Shripal sir, along with Madhur sir, came up with an idea of creating Simander Student Council that will cater to the needs of the growing finance world and will work on the skills and personality of the students. This will not only make them the part of the world, but will also help them to lead the world. So the council was formed on March 2021 to help the... Wait, I think my slide is not working. Okay. So the council was formed on March 2021 to help the Samantha student to create their own destiny and excel in all aspects of their life. And that's how, guys, we came up with a tagline, create your own destiny, because we truly believe you have the power in your hands to shape your own destiny. And if you're thinking, like, how is SSC planning to do that, how we are going to, you know, get in action. So SSC has committees, uh, like corporate relations sales, technical ability sales, personality development cells, student relations cells, and editorial cells. Yes, there are a lot of cells because we have so many students and we have to work upon. So each cell has a set of, has a specified roles and responsibilities. They prepare a set of activities and give, provide opportunities to the student to develop. So when we, you know, came up with this idea of SEC, we have seriously taken into consideration all the skill sets and all the qualities that are required as a finance professional and then delegated 
and then delegated the roles and responsibilities to each of the cell to work on those skills and help the students to grow per personally as well as professionally. Now, if we talk about what SEC has to offer, we have corporate interactions to make you aware of the changing needs of the finance world and to interact with the industry leaders where, where they will be sharing their journeys, experience, success mantras, or inspiring uh, people like us who really want a good career in, who want a good career throughout their life. And then we have technical sessions on data analytics skills like Power BI, Oracle, blockchain, etc. to, you know, help you to learn and adapt with the developing technology. Then we have guidance and mentorship program to help you create study plans for both non-working and working professionals. We have personality development cells, uh, sessions on interviews, uh, interview skills, communication skills, email etiquette, and personal grooming. And yes, we also have monthly newsletter guys to keep you updated about the latest happening in our economy, job market, also, we will give you opportunity to showcase your talent. Like if you if you like writing, you can share an article with us. If you like photography, you can share a photograph with us. We will publish your writing and your photograph in our newsletter. Please note, please note that these sessions and activities are specially designed to meet the requirements of the corporate world. And another big, big, you know, major question that we, uh, we receive is like, what is the life after becoming a CPA? So there are sessions on that too. So stay tuned to get the answer of the life, how will how life will be after becoming a CPA. Then we will move to the best part of SEC, that is SEC portal, where you can find all the exclusive content published from time to time. Maybe it uh, be it uh, newsletter, be it uh, recorded uh, recorded corporate sessions, be it uh, scheduled activities for the month. They will be all in the one place. You know, guys, I feel like as Devin Sir just said that to make you have to make the right right start. And I think Simander has done uh, with SEC has made the right start. Now, as you know, nothing is possible without a good without a good team. So we uh, teamwork is a dream work. So we have talented and energetic team members and great brilliant leaders with us. We have Madhur Mavandia who is the president of SEC. He is an MBA in finance, currently working in Dubai with over 11 and plus years of industry experience. He specialized in corporate and finance, accounts, cost analysis, finance projections, and budget. Then we also have with us Jitendra Agrawal with over 11 years of experience in US tax and provisioning. Currently working with Amazon and has been part of organization like Bank of America and PwC. And then we have none other than Ishika Manhotra. She's a leading entrepreneur with exceptional communication skills. She has started her career with Deloitte. She's also a certified language instructor from Cambridge University. You heard it right, Cambridge University. Now let's talk about our core team members. So we have Richa and Ashna for corporate relationship sales. Then we have our host Basit and Tanmay for our technical ability, uh, sorry, Editorial team, then have we, then we have Shrikesh Lahoti, Yushuf, Teja, and Raga for our student relation council. And we have Harsh and, Mad, Harsh and Madhu for our technical ability cell, and myself and Pavani for personality development cell, all with unique skills and talent. So, guys, this was pretty much it about our SEC initiative. Uh, we hope to see you participating more in our upcoming events because there are events lined up for you. We have quarterly plans for you. Please do join us. Please participate because, you know, we are working really hard to keep you running with the fast growing world. Just be there. Now, I will I would go through the corporate sessions and leadership uh, leadership sessions happened in Simandar. There are so many great leaders that has came and shared the experience like Shalesh Hari Bhakti, Jay Shangaraja, CFO of Infosys. Then we have Devendra Sir, very welcome to you, sir. Then we have Bhavani Joyce, AVP and Head Internal Audit of Sox and Infosys. We have CFO of Reliance Geo, Rajneesh Jain. Oh my God, there's so many people. If I start taking their name, I'll, it will be too much, too much time for me. Then we have CFO Sandhya Sharma, we have CFO Raghav, CFO Rajiv, sir. So many leaders have shared 
the experience and their success mantras with us on this one platform that simander has given us what a great opportunity simander is providing to the students now we have cfp cf cpa star student who has passed us cpa like anju we have beck she has scored 98 in beck guys she has and then we have gorav 98 in reg oh my god then we have akshay 98 in uh, 98 in far and now audit is left i think is 94 in audit abhi abhi girl very nice and these are some names of the students who have passed us cpa individual section like gyan gyan we have met on met in our women's day special event then we have purvi pare she is an amazing wonderful woman we have suraj teja who has recently been uh, 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 part of uh, like who has recently recently been placed at pick four then we have some of our cma alumni aspirants like hema bindu manash ke wadu ke sayed a such a brilliant people now we have so, certain events also at simandar uh one of that is aicpa and nazwa session which was held on 9th december 2022 uh, 2020 sorry and the recording is available on the youtube you guys can go and check it out because it's like one of a kind of video because i don't think uh, any any uh, organization has ever came up with this then we had our women's day special seminar celebrating women professionals and their career and this is a women's day celebration at office with our team then we had republic day celebration then this is a book review competition as i told you that simandar has always been you know uh, seen students uh, to grow them both personally and professionally so other than education we have uh, always came up with ideas like book review competition to develop your skills then this is a successful event event for m quiz which our host pasit has won uh, and this has really you know uh, changed our uh, yeah so changed uh, changed habits and you know many participant has shown the uh, shown the uh, what i can i say like they have been very happy with this then we had corporate sessions on finance and fintech companies like reliance jio microsoft ey campage and many more we had inauguration of simandar's new office congratulations to sir what an um, wow what a nice office guys and this is our smiling face faces of our simandar staff who work really hard for the students clear the cpa and you know now we are also a part of that as we all are simandar's engagement council students so we also have responsibilities that we have now with uh, this coming initiative okay so i think i now it's over to you basit and i before that i would like to say that holi is coming so happy holi guys be safe and over to you basit thank you thank you so much adarshita thank you so much ripal sir sonam and adarshita for taking us through the uh, entire presentation so guys if you have any doubts you can uh, raise it in the q and a session and we will take it up one by one and uh, now let's move on to the fun section you know you guys have waited and been a patient all the way so now the editorial team has come up with a fun quiz which is more like an ice breaker session and as well you know uh, it is a a bit of teaser from the editorial team So to be the quiz master of this session, I invite Tanmoy, who is the editorial member. Tanmoy, all to you. Thank you, Basit, and thank you, Adarshita Sripal, for this wonderful uh, explanation. And I hope to see a lot of guys applying to their respective favorite cells. And hopefully, we'll see you as a part of SEC sometime in the future. So let's just uh, break the ice. it has been really wonderful one and a half hours of learning here and let's just start with a fun quiz to wrap this up just a few simple rules the format of this quiz is pretty rapid fire just use your chat box to type in the response each question just has four response so it's a easy guess even if you do not know just guess one answer and please do not use any alexa or google right technologies are quite advanced pretty easy isn't it the world's most profitable company in 2020 with around 60 billion in profits basit just look at the chat box that is yeah. like on you know, a rapid fire is the answer <laughs> so how will we uh, take it up then <laughs> so can we just see the chat box and see if somebody comes up with the 
So the world's most profitable company in 2020 is 59 billion dollar. Guys, if if you can raise your hand, or maybe just see the Q and A. There are already been 40 uh, 45 answers, Tanne. Okay, I think time's up. So let me just reveal the answer. So guys, Apple is the correct answer. I don't know how many of you have got guys got it correct, but Apple recently finished its FI 2020 as world's most profitable company. It overtook the Saudi Aramco company, which was like uh, because it for, suffered a lot of losses because of oil prices being down. So this is the next question, guys. And me, can you go on a full full view mode? Huh? Yeah. yeah. The highest brand value from the below list commanded by which company? Yeah. Basit, if you know the answer, we can just give a shout out to guys who are guessing it right. Yeah, if I you think can look the, at the chat I box. Think, uh, Dashmeet came up with the answer first, I think. I'm losing track. Yeah, so many answers are coming in rapid. <laughs> nice, nice. It's nice to see participation. Yeah, nice then. to see participation. Guys, five seconds more. Okay, time's up. Let me see how many of you guys got this right. I think it's an easy one. So hopefully, most of you have got this right. So it's none other than Tata Group. it had a brand value of around 20 billion dollars in the financial year 2020 and it is the largest group which has almost 27 listed entities that is listed on a stock exchange of bse and nse and uh, yeah that would be it let's just jump into the next question yeah so dashmeet got that one right oh i think rashmeet is the brilliant one <laughs> hopefully she doesn't using any google alexa no no Guys, let's see how many of you guys get this one right. In case you are not alone, was others yes. Ashwana. Yeah, guys, please panelists don't type in the answers. Only attendees do. Panelist, why are you doing here? I don't understand. Panelists are not allowed there. Ucha, <laughs> Shri Kesh, and all, please don't type. Yes, guys. B. Who got the first one? Ten seconds, guys. Okay. Time's so, up, guys. So this time there are a lot of answers A, B, C, everything. Uh, okay. Sir, go. Then my Gopi, uh, Gopi. I don't know the full name. He got the uh, correct answer. First, Amazon. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice, nice one, Gopi. I guess uh, it's a brilliant uh, uh, information to know that uh, uh, Mr. Jeff Bezos earlier. Was supposed to name his Amazon company Relentless dot com because that guy is pretty pretty relentless in what he does. You can see like he has uh, put Amazon in almost every possible sector that technology can think of or will be thinking of. And this guy's quote is one of the most favorite ones that I follow or sh everyone should follow is always remember when you start it is always the day one. Some of the brilliant quotes that this amazing founder ha has given us. Okay, guys. This guy was Rajesh with A. Okay. So A, Tejas B A. Rajesh was the first one whom I saw. I don't know what it was. Sir, don't give away the hint, sir. Let them guess. Ten second more, guys. Okay, done. I guess it should be easy because this uh, gentleman was in the news recently because he got a uh, padm shri with from the prime minister and president itself. This guy's name is Shridhar Vembu, who has. 
been included in the 2020 as india's one of the richest guys at 59th position and one amazing fact about this guy is this guy went to the us started his company established it there and came back to his own village to empower india i think that is one of the most inspiration guys in the modern history that or in this century or this decade that we should be getting inspired by and let's say just one fi- quick final question that is not related to finance or anything just a general fun guy <laughs> i think this one i think 100% of you guys should get it because everyone no, actually spends- uh- all the options are coming in a c d a c d so it's going to be interesting let me just check who came the answer a lot of them for despacito now they okay, are okay. baby shark now gangam sai they are changing their options some of them are writing four option different timings <laughs> they can pick up okay yes get recognized okay guys like 10 seconds more i think this should be the easy one but i don't know but actually it turned out to be the most trickiest one because most <laughs> yeah. of them have yes. gone wrong i think everybody will uh, listen to the answer maybe after this meeting i guess yeah so few more views coming up huh? <laughs> okay let's see how many of you guys got this one right so the answer is baby shark, baby shark dance <laughs> so this song was nowhere in the picture like in 2020 but once the lockdown started i think this song went viral and it is currently at around 8 billion views and that has surpassed despacito which has close to 7 billion views so yeah guys this was the very surprise answer which even we when researched we were quite surprised hope you enjoyed this short quick quiz so i think uh, thank you tanmay before basit tells so guys tanmay uh, is our cp alumni and you can understand that he's taking out time uh, for you all he's been working with deloitte and now he owns has his own startup right and he's taking out those valuable time just for you all so first of all thank you so much tanmay teja jitain all are all cp alumni is also along with our cp aspirants Uh, this will really help us right to get, uh, gather that much needed momentum what we wanted and i think the students will have lot to learn just not passing cp exam but being really updated is what which is required uh, what do you was thank you tanmay thanks a lot that was a great quest thank you guys so thank you so much tanmay thank you so much ripal sir so i hope you guys had fun and like we like i mentioned earlier this is just a teaser stay tuned for more action we have more, much more planned for you guys so thank you so much and uh, before we conclude uh, i invite madhu madhu to deliver the thank you note to everyone here madhu over to you madhu are you there yeah hello yeah we can hear you go on uh good evening good evening everyone this is madhu cpa uh, same aspirant from simandar education uh, on behalf of simandar education and team mcc i would like to thank mr devender bagri to grace the occasion and sharing his insights on the corporate life i would also like to thank mr sripal jain for believing his students and conceptualizing the idea of acc on behalf of acc i would also like to thank the digital team of simandar for supporting us with edits and graphs you have been you have been excellent Uh, i would also like to thank my all my colleagues at uh, acc for making this event a grand success and madhu mound especially for continuously guiding and mentoring the team acc last but not le- but not least i would also like to thank the audience present today as we could not do with this without your support and we look forward for your participation in on the future events of acc once again thank you everyone i'm, I'm sure you all enjoy this session have a good evening ahead thank you madhur thanks a lot guys anyone who want to share the feedback for today's orientation session you can raise hands and i can unmute you some of them who want to talk on what was your experience today how was it speaker yes speaker i have unmuted you please go ahead uh hi everyone uh, so it was a uh, 
great experience uh, i would say uh, i was uh, hearing from dev sir was uh, really insightful uh, uh, and, uh, the information provided by the scc team is really good and i think i am very excited to collaborate with this team uh, because i am I, i have recently joined simander and uh, yeah i am looking forward for the journey and uh, yeah that's what Thank, Thank you. Uh, yeah, Nagendra, go ahead. Yeah, sir. So, thank you, everybody, for the wonderful session. It was nice and informative session for me. As a new joiner for Simanda Education, I just recently enrolled for CMA, and I just I got lots of information from you, from you all. I love love this and like the session. it was smooth and it was very mind blowing experience for me and it was very nice uh, structure of speech as well thank you sir and thanks for all the support for the students and thank you acc team thank and you. proud to be in from um, proud to be in simanda family too thank welcome, you welcome nagendra thank you so much welcome from the entire student council team i hope that they will keep guiding you <laughs> always thank you so much nagendra thank you sir thank you anyone who want to uh, share their views rather than in chat box i can see a lot of chats there if you, if you want to unmute yourself and share your experience you can raise your hands anyone ashok yes i think yes i, I have ashok but we have lost him yes anyone guys who want to share your experience both positive and negative not just positive <laughs> you are welcome to the feedbacks yeah i think we are done with it yes thank you so much guys thanks a lot uh, over to you basit thank you so thank you so much everyone on behalf of uh, the entire set team and all the participants here thank you so much for coming here and i would like to end with what dev sir said you know be happy enjoy your life work on your flaws and have fun so take care and have a happy weekend this is we are signing off so thank you so much guys Happy Holi guys be safe happy holi safe holi thank you for attending this session thank you so much thank you